In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. I've never seen them like this, Goose. Something is driving them crazy. So why didn't you ask them what it is? I did. They said they only want to talk to you. Icarus, Winter, what is it? Easy, guys. The Goose is here. No question about it. The Dolphins have heard a telepathic distress call. Have you deciphered the message? My brothers, the darkness encircles us. Help us. What? We traced the signal to an unexplored planet in the empty zone. The planetoid is water-based. There appears to be only one landmass. All right, prepare a survey mission. Take the dolphins. Survey nose spot in position. Prepare to load flying sub. Rover coming on cargo pod. I've modified your headsets to help you pinpoint life readings. Thank you! Bye bye, my friend! Ooh, yuck! Good luck, team! Okay, guys, road trip. All tweakers? Falling. Firefly here! Tripwire here! Lifeline present! Pathfinder is ready! What about me, Doc? Sorry, Pixel, but you still have too many bugs in your programming. What have you got? No traces of high-tech energy sources. I can't pinpoint it. Something seems to be diffusing the signal. I suggest two teams. One checks out the land, the other checks the ocean. All right, Goose, you and Nico take the wet side. Doc and I have the dry side. Check this out. Toxic fumes over the landmass. Nice choice, Zach. Flying sub launch codes green. Your carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, all the signs of basic hydrocarbon poisoning. But there's no industry on this entire planet. They're right, 30 degrees. I see it. Large structural masses. So much for your low tech theory. Looks inactive. Any life form readings? Negatory. Pollutants are blocking the sensor. Let's check it out. But first, break out the armor-plated tuxedos. The 
deserted factory of some kind. Who or what could possibly live here? Zelma. I'm taking the life raft out. Follow me at a safe distance. Right. Come on! You're getting away! Go ahead, Winter. I'll be right there. Why not ride with us? Another time. Goose, I'm detecting a power source. Can't lock it in. Boost the direction finder. I'm sorry, Goose. Too much magnetic interference. Take us up. Eco on scouting out the area. Roger. Continuing video survey. What? Goose, unidentified craft sighted. Ah! Alien spice! Flywheel! Fire torpedoes! Goose! Torpedo approaching! Hang on. Elma. Right. Fire, Elma. Nico? Okay, thanks. We spotted the alien sub Winter? Winter! Goose, what is it? They found the sub. I'm going in. Dolphins. Some kind of high strength super metal alloy. Get us out of here, Dalplat! Nico, they've got the dolphins. They're headed for an underwater tube way. Follow them. I'll get Elma. Rustlers. This polluted air is a byproduct of heavy industry. But what's being manufactured and where? Why don't we ask him? You okay, Doc? I'm okay, but it's not. Let's get it into the rover. It's alive, but look at these scans. I can't believe these brainwave readings. Its biosystem's been contaminated. It's been driven berserk by the chemical pollution. I'm surprised it's made it this far. It should recover now. Come on, let's find the source of this garbage. I'm with you. Visibility almost zero. Readings intensifying. We're close. We're here. There it is. That's your pollution source. That's where it's from. Shall we ring the doorbell or send a telegram? 
aliens! You are trespassing on private property! Leave it what? We are the Galaxy Rangers, and you're under arrest for violations of the interplanetary clean air and water statutes. This planet is ours now! We know our rights! Go find your own factory! Into the rover! Good idea! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's a pleasure to finally meet you natives. I am Plywheel, and this is my brother Dimplin. We are not natives. We are here because of our distress call. Why did you attack our friends? Friends? They are corporate spies sent to steal our secrets from us. Just what is going on here? That should be self-evident. We are building progress. We must draw their fire away from the rover. Any ideas? How do you talk me into these things? Great. We're safe up here. What's with these jokers? They're making super alloys for robots! They're messing up the environment. Let's go. Ah, the alien is back! Call out the robots! Uh-oh. Stay back! Get out of here! I'll lead these droids away. Fuck you! That's an order. You've got to find that distress signal source. I know what you mean. How about it, Dot? Just take care of everything from the neck down. You got it. Much obliged. Pathfinder, ask this heap where their main computer's located. Is it jump? Right behind you! In the middle smokestack! Now all we need is someone dumb enough to climb down there. There's something up ahead! Let's go back for Goose! Ocean Brothers! Thank goodness you've come! We need your help, brothers! Follow us! Let's go, Winter! Darkness encircles us. Awfully hard to see down here. Uh-oh. You are not the regular technician. Yeah, about that. My card. Oops.
on the hold. Welcome, friends. Thank you for answering our call. For centuries, the land factories have remained dead. Then the mighty factory started again and brought us a terrible darkness. We try to tell them the darkness will kill us, but they do not understand. So we turn to the stars for help. Nico! Hi, Icarus, Winter. This is the source of the distress signal. It was sent years ago before the pollution blocked the transmission. Come on, there's still time to save the natives from the darkness. Honest, I swear this is just a routine checkup. Tell me another one. Ah. Doc, help! So, you have an accomplice. All right, what company are you from? Who sent you? Come on, Doc. Quit clowning around. Uh-oh. You're on your own, Doc. Cannot help you now, you hacker. Hacker? Searchlight! Firefly! Get up here on the double! We can't get out! What's up, Doc? Pixel? Oh no! I'll help you, Doc! What should I do? Let me at it! I'll immortalize it! Just tell it to let me go! Wait, Doc! Oh, no. Please, that tickles it. Let's go, Doc! Yeah, real funny. Stop! Not until you tell us the truth! I admit it, I'm not the central computer. You're not? I'm a decoy. The central computer is nowhere near here. Do you mean the central computer gets preferred treatment? Oh. Well... I never thought of it that way. Hey, doesn't it make you just a tiny bit jealous? Now that you mention it, it doesn't seem fair, does it? I mean, here I am, cooped up in the smokestack, fending off invaders while he's fast-producing real cool robots. There's no justice in this world. That's what you think. Yes, I showed them. I just sent the robots to shut down the central computer. How do you like them, Megabytes? Hey, now you're humming. Nice going, Pixel. Uh, make room for one more, guys. All right, this place is shutting down. Ah, Master Invaders! Welcome. Our beautiful factory has stopped! Mister, your factory is destroying this planetoid. Uh, it's a living. This planet was a wilderness when we got here. We thought this world was abandoned, so we came to restart the factory, bring industry, make robots, and sell them. We like this planet the way it is. We were going to share the profits with the natives. We heard their signal and have been searching for them. But we needed to make security robots to protect us from these crazy blue monsters. We are the natives. That's right. How come you didn't contact us? The ones who came were driven crazy by the pollution. Oh. The League of Planets has agreed to pass sentence on you after you clean this place up, so you'd better do it right. We have reprogrammed the robots to clean up matter toxic to your life forms. Now that item could be a big seller. There's a great need for pollution control robots on planets throughout the system. Yeah, and we'll share the profits on those babies. Very well, a deal. Zachary, we'd especially like to give thanks to your group leaders. Huh? Our group leaders? You should be very proud of your pets. We like them. You trained them well. Thank you. Come on, you little humans. We must bustle. Now that's cute. <laughs> and you must come and visit our world someday. Of course. Of course. <laughs>